If you're using Windows, chances are you're also using a mouse. But what do you do if the cursor disappears? My name is Adullah. You're watching Candido Technology and in this video, we're going to fix just that for you. So the first thing that you need to try out is uh, if you're on a laptop, especially there are dedicated hotkeys for toggling your trackpad on and off. If you can't find your cursor, uh, what you can do is check your keyboard for any trackpad toggle keys. For example, on my system, if I press Fn and F11, my trackpad gets logged, which means I can do whatever I want on my trackpad, but the mouse won't move. Any external input devices will move though. So uh, check to make sure that you have uh, no such keys and if they are that your uh, trackpad is enabled. Generally these are Fn plus F3, Fn plus F6 or Fn plus F11. On my laptop this is Fn plus F11 but on your laptop this could be a different key as well. So give your keyboard a good look and try and find out if your trackpad is locked. If it isn't, then it's time to update or roll back your mouse drivers. Now, to do this, um, if you can't find your cursor and you have to go by the way of your keyboard, press Windows key plus X to open up this quick access menu. I'm doing this with a mouse because I'm recording on my secondary monitor and if I press Windows key plus X, the menu will open on my primary monitor. In here, use your arrow keys to head over to the device manager. Okay, so uh, for this method, you might have to uh, use an external mouse on your system just to get control of your cursor. Once you have that, you can go ahead and uh, find mice and other pointing devices here. This does work with an arrow key as long as you can get the thing to move. But uh, just plug in an external mouse to help resolve this issue. Once you're here, double click to expand mice and other pointing devices and just go ahead and update all of these devices. Right click a selected device, click on update driver and then let Windows automatically search for drivers. As you can see, I already have the best drivers installed on my system, which is why my mouse cursor is working as it should. But yours may not be the same, so go ahead and update these drivers and do it for every item that you see under mice and other pointing devices. If this doesn't help fix your problem, you can right click, uh, click on properties, go to driver and check if you have the option to roll back your device drivers. A lot of the times a new driver update can cause problems with the system and if your driver has recently been updated, you will have the option to go ahead and roll this driver back. If that doesn't work as well, you then uh, from this point onwards, you're going to have to uninstall the device. Go ahead and click uninstall in this dialog box as well and then restart your system. What this does is that it removes the device from your particular system and then when you restart it, Windows automatically detects and installs the default or legacy drivers for it, whatever it has in order to be able to process that device's input. And uh, that should get your problem solved after which you can go ahead uh, to your mouse or trackpad manufacturer's website and get the latest drivers possible. If that doesn't fix your problem either, your best bet moving forward is to reset your Windows PC. Now this sounds like a hassle, but resetting your system can help resolve a lot of these basic driver or Windows file related issues, and it may not cost you your files. To do this, press Windows key plus I to open up uh, Windows settings and just search for recovery in the top box right here. So just search for recovery. And then I'm going to select a recovery options. In here, you have uh, quite a few options. So you have uh, fix problems without resetting your PC. So you can go uh, click on this option, head over to troubleshooters and see if you have uh, the mouse troubleshooter available on your system. This may not be available on all systems. So this method may not work for you. If you see the mouse troubleshooter here, you can go ahead and click on run to run it and hopefully fix your problem. Um, if not, then we're just going to go back to our recovery settings. 
once we are in recovery options uh, you also have the option of uh, reinstalling your current version of windows if this option pops up this only comes up if you have uh, recently updated to 24 h2 or uh, any other major windows update at the time of whenever you're watching this if both of these options do not work for you then you need to go ahead and work with reset your pc so go ahead and click on reset pc and this will give you now two options one to keep your files and one to leave everything now based on how important the data on your system is to you if you can take a backup of it i recommend taking a backup of everything and then removing it all completely wiping your system and starting from scratch if you can't do that you can also go ahead with the keep my files option which doesn't delete anything but does do a sort of a clean reinstall of windows and make sure that all of your drivers are in place and doing so should definitely fix your problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel, give us a thumbs up and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.